Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everybody is doing well. Happy uh, start of the week to all of you guys. Actually shooting this real time on Monday and uh, it's kind of a cloudy, gloomy day over here in Michigan. <laughs> uh, here's where we're at though. A couple cool things I want to report on this video and this vlog for you guys. Uh, number one, getting close to the holidays. So I just want to say happy holidays to all you guys. It's a beautiful time of year. Liz and I went and did the uh, Living Christmas just down the road at the local church. You get to like drive your car through this like couple different horseshoes and play the audio tracks in your car. It was actually really special. It was really cool. And Emmy's just jumping out the window going, whoa, the, the donkey or the, the manger and all this stuff. It's actually really cool. So happy holidays to you guys. If I don't uh, get to catch up with you guys between uh, all the different videos that we're trying to drop. Two qu uh, quick things here. And uh, unfortunately, uh, wasn't able to capture well, here's what happened. Uh, last week, went to uh, Route 1 Industries for the new truck to get uh, all the lighting hooked up. But here's the thing that happened is the uh, audio from the microphone on my bigger camera somehow started clipping and it was staticky. And so basically, um, probably 50 or 60% of that vlog is unusable. So that's kind of not really cool. I'll uh, actually show you guys that video here in just a quick second of uh, what did work because it was actually really cool seeing Yusuf and uh, all that stuff. Uh, but also, and I'll show you another clip here in a minute too, was on Thursday, Friday, we went to one of the masterminds uh, that he's calling it his uh, uh, in-person seminar series uh, with Mark Bradley of LMN. And that was just a really, really good time. It's kind of a lobotomy uh, for my brain. I took four and a half pages of notes, filled up the workbook that they gave you. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. I'll tell you guys, if you are, Growing a real lawn landscaping business, we're not just doing the social media thing, the YouTube crap. Uh, you guys are watching the videos to learn, to grow, uh, outside of just watching Liz and I or something like that. I would tell you guys 100%, take the couple hundred bucks, invest into uh, a hotel night and a ticket to the Mark Bradley uh, LMN events. Uh, we're still rocking yard book for right now, but I will tell you, we've had some uh, internal conversations, Liz and I, about where do we want to take the company. A lot of you guys have uh, heard that or uh, even, heard us conversate about that on the uh, podcast. Uh, where do we want to take Brian's Law Maintenance? Do we want to grow to a uh, 1 million, 3 million, 5 million, $10 million company? Like what's the next big thing for us? Um, we, uh, you know, got out of survival mode. We're into stable of our life mode and our life is a little bit more stable these days. Uh, but we're like, hey, what's next for the company? So we're still debating all those questions. And so that actually prompted me to start looking over the fence a little bit, start looking at other CRMs that are out there. Not that that's the ticket, but, um, the almonds invited they said hey if you guys are looking to capitalize on some of those thoughts come on up to uh mark bradley's event in novi michigan which is like two minutes on the road for us so i got some video clips i'll play with that and then uh, we'll show you guys uh, what mark was sharing and it was just a really really good time day and a half at um the suburban collection showplace which is where we had lal uh ironically enough about 20 folks were probably there out of the hundred that came to lal just about three or four weeks before so same time, same place, same location kind of a deal, which is kind of funny. Um, but it was a really, really good time. And then the other half of the day went to Troy Clogs and uh, got to see a behind the scenes look and had about 100 plus people there. So that was great as well. All right, well, I'll show you guys those quick uh, things I'm gonna set up. Uh, actually, I wanna show you guys a little bit more about what's going on in the barn back there. Uh, these guys are prepping for concrete. Gravel's gonna be showing up here in a quick minute. So uh, I'll take you guys back there, show you guys the latest and greatest and uh, try to keep this thing going on. Again, hope you guys are doing well. Let's keep moving, baby. All right, Yusuf, what? A couple hours later, how we doing, man? About three hours, we're actually finished. Dude, no way. Yeah, we're done. Uh, we got it all wrapped up for you, all the warning lights and everything. Grill's back on, everything's hooked up to our auxiliary switches. Everything is blacked out, as you can see from the grill right here. Starting off in the front, we got the two M powers sitting right there, nice and clean. It looks like it's blended in with the grill. Yeah. With the tint strip on there. You can barely even see that. Yep. That looks good. The whole truck is synced right now. So the lights are synced, they move in a certain pattern. And if you come over here, Brian, you'll see it. If you go on a distance back to my shop, I'm gonna shut off the lights because the lights might affect the uh, camera. Yep. And you can see everything is moving at a certain pace at the same time. Yeah. And this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the inner cycle pattern. You can see it, it's just moving slow, slow, then fast, fast. That's clean. Yep, and everything comes on at the same time. If you notice the whole truck, if you look at all the walls, you'll see the lights come on all at the same time. So on the driver's side back rack and the rear bumper uh, passenger side, they're synced. That's group one. Group two is our passenger side back rack with our driver's side bumper. And if you notice, I have the driver's side back rack and the side pocket together at the same time, vice versa on the other side. 
Looks good. All moving at the same time. Even those, and you can just have your amp powers running. Oh, there you go. And if the guys are working on a site, or doing a late fall cleanup, and they need that extra light, and this is the perfect amount of lighting. Hooking up trailers, seeing on the side over here in the perimeter, even in the front, that's not your headlights, by the way. That's the amp powers. Wow. So. That's awesome. That's how intense they are. And then uh, also even just to get anything out of your box, toolbox or something like that, you know? Yeah, in your toolbox. So now with everything on There you go. You can kind of go around and just show the whole truck here with it all lit up. So it, you can see inside nice and perfectly at night. Check and out that full light, by the way. That's the whole back of the yep. shot. You can see, it's a, what I always say is your shadow, as sharp it is, as it is, that's as good as the light is. Wow. So that's what I love about the rigid industry lights. Uh, we were prior prior to this we were selling die dynamics. It's a great brand as well But for pods and stuff I'd go with rigid for anybody out there shopping and stuff You can always hit us up as well, and we'll take care of it for you. All right, man. Well, that's it, bro Appreciate you Ryan this truck number three. Thank Num you so much for bringing it. I hope you're happy with it Only one person's touching my trucks, bro. That's you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Heck yeah It's always a pleasure for you to drive four hours to us. Yeah four long hours and you're away from your family And that means a lot to me and my family as well and everybody here at Route 1. Hey, no big deal. Got a bunch of good podcasts to listen to. Uh, the good old, where can people find you, man? Where can they find me? Uh, Instagram mostly, Route 1 Industries. Uh, follow us on there. We put stories sometimes with builds like this. And we do nice reels with some cool music on there. There you go. Uh, you guys can see all the other landscapers, trucks getting done. And they all come here at Route 1 Industries and they get it done right. There you go. So. All right, man. Appreciate you, brother. Yep, yep. All right, guys. I got to hook up the boss, and uh, we're booging on down the road. Let's get back to Michigan. You guys have a good day, and uh, catch up on Instagram if you guys want to see a little bit more. We'll see ya. What's up, guys? Good morning. All right. Well, check this out. Location, location. Suburban Collection Showplace. I feel like we were just here two minutes ago, weren't we? You guys can see on the marquee up there, you got Mark Bradley with LMN doing one of his master classes. Uh, super excited about checking this out today. Hanging out with a bunch of you guys as well. Uh, I think Caleb and Brittany Allman are up here. It's a great opportunity to network educate get around the heat and learn from mark bradley who if you guys don't know had a 50 million dollar landscape company up in canada uh we're gonna go on in today take you guys with us as much as i can show you guys a little sneak peek behind the scenes and uh educating ourselves today the guys are out in the field they're doing cleanups keeping things moving and while they're growing and making revenue i got to keep growing as a leader so we can cast a vision hire the right people make the right decisions and keep this thing moving, amen? All right, go up the ladder. You guys know, this is where we host LAL. There's 400 people here, including Mark, uh, about three weeks ago, talking about coming back. Off, just wanted to thank uh, Troy and his team, probably more his team, probably more, uh, for uh, for hosting. I think uh, we can all say that this is uh, overwhelmingly amazing in every way. And uh, we built this just for you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't here last week. <laughs> <laughs> So as you guys can see, great time hanging out with Yusuf at Route 1. If you guys need lighting, that is my guy. That's where I'll tell you guys to go if you're anywhere in uh, the greater Midwest. Number two, had a great time hanging out with Mark Bradley. I actually took him to dinner with Caleb and Brittany Allman, Allman Landscape out of Ohio. And I'll tell you what, that was a three hour dinner that I will never forget. The amount of stories that he shared were just incredible. 
And not only that, uh, the amount of stories that we're not allowed to share <laughs> were equally as incredible. Um, it will tell you, there's whole different uh, levels to every level, uh, which is awesome. So uh, let me do this. I think they actually took the skid steer two minutes ago. They just took off. Wow, they prepped this whole thing. This looks awesome. So we're definitely doing concrete. Uh, my guess is probably tomorrow, maybe uh, Wednesday. So here's the whole area. And if you guys uh, didn't see that vlog from last week, an absolutely mud fest. Then the trench, two different lines, and then a third line to go around back because you got to port gas in on our barn. You can't go underneath any concrete slabs. So that was a little bit of a snafu. Huge trench lines going through here. But they did his best to clean this all out, kind of grade it all out. And then uh, we had all this racking that Rob and all the guys broke down in my garage at our old apartment. We got it right here for now. All this is going to go inside. And then here's what it looks like. They completely laid it all down, laid it all flat. Uh, I don't really want to walk on it, to be honest with you, but uh, I might just a little bit. Um, they put foam all the way around the edge. I guess there was uh, two feet of foam that they had to put, uh, two plus feet of foam that they had to put all the way around. So that, uh, I don't think it's necessarily for insulation, but it was just um, some kind of barrier or something like that that they were required to put down for code. You guys can see all this back here. So there's that, and then uh, for any of you guys who didn't see the other video, just to recap, now uh, you got utilities. I think this is uh, the drain for the vanity. We'll have a 32 or 36 inch staircase that goes up here uh, to the loft. Uh, I'm not sure what all the other things here, maybe drain for the shower, maybe a toilet, maybe a sink uh, or a boiler uh, to heat. This is foam, just so you guys know, just to uh, add a little bit extra layer of insulation or protection. And then here's the uh, 36 inch footers, if I'm not mistaken, that'll support the loft. There you go. And for some of you guys that don't know, uh, the barn, 40 by 60, 10 foot lean to, uh, I think at like 13 or 14 foot on this uh, span bay. So we're gonna build a loft up top. And uh, as soon as I have the concrete in here, I'm gonna bug the uh, carpenters that did the house. And they're already months ahead of aware of this, but uh, try to get them in here to frame all this out, build this out as soon as possible. Uh, I am looking at storage solutions, pallet racks. If you guys got some suggestions out there, Now's the time to leave them in the comments. Uh, there is a brand I found recently on Instagram called Levrack, uh, L-E-V Rack, R-A-C-K, Levrack. And if you guys ever seen those like medical device offices or medical device, but medical offices that have, you know, those four or five cubbies and they have that like kind of wheel that they spin and like the whole thing sh can cascade down. It kind of looks like that, but more industrial and more cooler. <laughs> uh, but then it also, uh, turns into a pallet racking system as well that you can build out. So the idea I have here is dry storage, horseshoe area for like kind of like a man cave, you know, it'd be 14 feet deep, bathroom, staircase, and that'll all go upstairs, right? So I'm trying to figure out solutions for underneath here, some kind of like tool cabinets or tool chests. So I don't know if that'll necessarily be lever rack. I'm still trying to look some stuff up. The number two, uh, really this whole area here, I've got 14 feet basically to the inside. So I thought about doing their like 10 foot section and maybe doing like that system that opens up and down here. And then also another one over there or maybe one here and then putting another span here and have like open pallet, open pallet racking, you know, a couple layers with the system here and then just a level up on top. I'll leave a link in the description, some photos. Hopefully this makes some sense, but basically I don't wanna block any windows, but if I can have a, a solution here and then a rack, uh, maybe a solution here and some racking, I, I don't know, but I really do wanna utilize the extra space up top. You know, we can put our plows up there, our debris loader up there, uh, all that kind of stuff. And then downstairs we have the easy quick grab stuff from handheld tools to power washers to any kind of equipment we need in the future. So that's kind of the idea that I want to do on the bottom. Um, 
So if you guys have any suggestions or solutions, let me know. I have looked at some Uline product as well. It's pretty comparable in price. I just think the lever act stuff looks a lot cooler or something like that. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, I really appreciate that. Uh, let me know what you guys have done at your shop. And then last but not least, just a quick little tour, is the uh, electrical box. They put all this in here. It has to be coming off of this corner. So I just asked them to keep it up front. And uh, I think it looks really clean. And then the idea is to have all this like conduit, right, all around the uh, exterior portion of the barn, which would be awesome. All right, well, uh, last but not least, some people were asking, uh, what are we doing for um, garage doors? Those will be on here, hopefully by midweek, if not, uh, by the end of the week uh, i know that they are uh, in and i think they're going to be doing the ins installation either uh wednesday thursday or friday at least let's hope so because as soon as the concrete goes in as soon as the doors goes in they can heat which will help with that concrete and then a day or two after that uh, we can hopefully start getting that loft built depending on the schedule for those guys the carpenters and then a day or two after that we can back the camper up in there and hopefully dodge the first real snowstorm that we get here in Michigan, which nothing on the 10 day right now, knock on wood, uh, but for the most part, not too much going on, which is good. That being said, uh, not too much going on. We're actually down for dollars. We're trying to get more leaf cleanups, anything to get the, a day for the guys, get uh, some labor covered, some payroll covered. That's always helpful, uh, but that's what I got for you guys. A little bit of a life update with uh, Ryan's all maintenance. So, all right, guys, that's what we got going on. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. We'll catch up with you guys here on the next one.